This problem gives us an air-filled parallel plate capacitor with circular plates. The plates are being charged by a current I of 0.520 amps, so that as charge accumulates on the plates, the electric field between the two plates increases in magnitude. We're asked in part A to find the magnitude of the displacement current density in the space between the two plates. We recall the displacement current density is epsilon naught times the time derivative of the electric field between the plates. The electric field between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor is sigma, the charge density, divided by epsilon naught. So we can cancel the epsilon naughts and rewrite sigma, the charge density, as the charge Q on the plate divided by the plate area A. The plate area is constant. So we have 1 over A times the time derivative of the charge Q on the plate. That's the current I. So we get a displacement current density of the current, 0.520 amps, divided by the plate area. That's pi times their radius squared. When you calculate, you find it equals 103 amps per square meter. Part B asks for the rate at which the electric field magnitude between the plates is increasing. That's dE dt. We can solve for it using the same expression that we used in part A. That time derivative equals the displacement current density divided by epsilon naught. So we just need to substitute the known values and calculate, finding that the electric field magnitude between the plates is increasing at the rate of 1.16 times 10 to the 13th volts per meter per second. Part C asks us for the magnitude of the magnetic field between the plates, a distance of 2 centimeters from the axis. I'll come up to the figure and indicate that distance in red, and call it the distance a little r. We'll find this magnetic field magnitude using Ampere's law. The line integral of B around a contour equals mu naught times the current I enclosed by that contour. Due to the symmetry here, the contour we want is a circle centered on the axis of the radius r. I'll draw it in green so that the integral of b dot dl becomes b times the circumference of that circular path. The current enclosed by the path is the current through this area that I'll shade in. There's no conduction current and only part of the displacement current enclosed by the loop. So we have mu naught times the enclosed current, the displacement current density times the area inside that green loop, pi times little r squared. We can cancel the pi, one of the r's, and solve for the magnetic field magnitude b. It equals mu naught times the displacement current density over 2 times the loop radius r. When we substitute all of the values and calculate we find the magnetic field magnitude there is 1.29 times 10 to the minus 6 tesla, 1.29 microtesla.